Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you some bits I picked up yesterday from Poundland and Home Bargains. I went in and got a few bits and pieces that I was quite surprised at, so I thought I would share a little haul of both of the shops for you. But if you're new, then my name's Ash, I'm a mum of two from Glasgow in Scotland, and if you don't follow me already, I would love you to hit subscribe to stick around for more videos in the future. I am going to go on and show you what I got, so there are some good bits in here. Right, first up, I got this. If you guys follow me already, you'll know that I love the Bedhead Catwalk TG collection, and this was, what is that on that? some kind of sticker. This was a surprise to find in there and annoyingly I only picked up the conditioner the day that I went in and got it. This was in the £2 section and I can't believe it because I buy this normally. I used to get it for £9.99 in B&M and then one day I seen it in Home Bargains for £6.99 so I thought even more of a bargain but it's usually £20 a bottle so yeah that is the one I got. It's the catwalk one. This one is the oatmeal and honey conditioner for dry damaged hair and it smells amazing it's such a gorgeous scent and for two pounds it's just gorgeous you'll really enjoy it if you manage to find this it's sold out now in my one but if you manage to find this then definitely buy more than one because it's such a good bargain i don't know if they even had the shampoo now that i come to think of it but anyway got this at from poundland and it was two pounds on to some snacky bits for the kids that have already opened as you can see i don't know about anybody else but as soon as i come back in from the shops everyone just raids the bag and helps themselves so i've got these here which are the whitworth's sun sunny raisins with yogurt covered raisins so these are just like little packs there's five in a box and they were a pound and i also got the barney bears these are usually i think 150 or two pounds in asda so it is quite a bargain to get them in poundland so they're just a pound as well these are the milk filling ones which are the ones that are the least mess if you're out and about so i picked up them also another foodie thing i got a box of weetabix these are 12 biscuits in the box and that is for Charlie's breakfast in the morning and Ella's as well. That's midnight. So this was in the one pound DVD section in Poundland. I couldn't believe it. It is Despicable Me. It was the only kids film that they had. I'd imagine if they had more they'd probably just fly out as soon as the delivery comes in. But Ella asked me the other day what this is which just made me feel so old. It's a DVD. Yes, a DVD. A DVD. So we put that in her DVD player in her room and she watched it yesterday. Yeah, and we have these. What are these called? They are called raisins. Would you like a packet? No, thank you. Barney Bear packet. Will you like a Barney Bear instead? Yeah. You just into the snacks. Every single time I do a Poundland haul, this one comes in to see what snacks I have. Sure you do? Yeah. You're a rascal. Wait, why don't I give you a Barney Bear and you can go and watch TV with Dad while Mummy does this? Okay. Next up, I got these in Poundland and they are the Garnier Skin Active Masks. So this is like one mask in each packet and they were a pound each. I <laughs> now the reason why I got two of these, I got one for me and one for Fraser because we have used the tissue mask of this particular one. I don't know what kind of scent it is. Pomegranate and glycerin and it is so hydrating. It lasts for about a week. So that has got one whole mask application in each of them. And I don't know if you can even buy that whole mask like in a pot or something. I'm not sure, but it's really good. So I'm excited to try the liquid mask and see if it's as good as a tissue one. I have been wanting one of these for ages and I keep forgetting to buy one. And it is a colour changing egg timer. You literally just put that in the boiling water with your egg and then it will tell you. Is that mine? Yeah, it's that for making eggs. Oh, Daddy, <laughs> I have my own egg. When you're boiling an egg, you put that in the boiling water and then it will change colour depending on how you like your egg, if you want it hard boiled or soft. So yes, I think this will be really, really good and handy to have in house. Next up, I got these selection of cookie cutters. There are five different sizes of heart shapes and I thought these would be really good for Ella's sandwiches. I just like giving her like fun lunches and I've got ones that are already like a kind of circular cookie shape and I thought the hearts would be so sweet. So yes, we got these. Now in here was an eyeliner and I don't know where I put it. <laughs> I've actually got it on just now so it must be in my makeup bag but it's a Miss Forte pen eyeliner and it's actually really, really good. It was only a pound in the makeup section and actually I was surprised because in the makeup section there's loads of like Rimmel stuff and Maybelline stuff so there's branded things that you've actually like heard of before. So maybe it's been worth looking and having a wee see in case any of the things you use normally are in the Poundland section. Next up I got my Deodorant which is the Nivea Double Effect. I also 
buy the black and white one of this as well and they've changed the packaging i'm such a sucker for nice packaging and i think this like twisty thing at the top is very satisfying that click noise is really good so yeah i got this it's a pound for my deodorant i really like it and it's 150 ml so it's quite a nice size so i picked up one of these just to keep my socks up I also went into the clothing section, Pep and Co, and got Ella some socks. I love these ones with the little like frilly organza bits at the sides, and I do get loads of questions on Instagram about where Ella's socks are from. I don't know, I just really like pretty girl socks, so I'm going to take all the ones that she's got in her room just now out and have a check of them and see which ones are just needing the bin, and then replace them with some nice new ones. So these were. £2.50 each for a pack of three pairs. I also got some of these which are the Muscle Food Protein Bars. These are the Lemon Crunch ones and they are so good. I don't know what they're like calorie wise actually. They're really not too bad for carbs either. So if you're trying to do like a low carb diet then these are a nice treat to have. I like to have this with a cup of tea in the afternoon when I'm really peckish because it really fills you up surprisingly for them it's just a little bar and it's high in protein as well. And lastly from Poundland is this. This is my favourite by far air freshener. It's so nice. This is the Airwick Pure um, No Added Water, one of those ones. It's just the fragrance and it is the relaxing lavender and patchouli scent. It just smells amazing. I really love it. And this one is £2 to buy in Poundland. And moving on to my bits from Home Bargains, I picked up the Bedhead shampoo it's a different one from the conditioner that i got but they are kind of like similar in their claims so this one is for dry damaged hair and so is this so yeah these kind of go well together this is a similar scent it's kind of like a caramel scent it kind of basically smells like the way it looks with the bottle and this was 6.99 or 5.99 i can't quite remember but it was less than a tenner anyway which was a good deal to get i've seen these floating about on instagram like constantly just now and it is like the gold collagen under eye masks. I don't know how good these ones are going to be, but I am interested to try them. They were probably less than a pound, maybe six to nine pence or nineteen pence. I'm not quite sure, but they are yeah. claiming to be cool and refreshing and brightening. And they are made with marine collagen, which is marine oil or marine collagen is a really good thing. They're always I use the Elemis marine cream and that's really good in tightening so I'm hoping this is going to be similar but then for less than a pound what can you really expect I don't know how many is in here I'm going to take one out of the packet but again I bought two because I like to make sure oh oh god there's loads of them there's three in a pack I didn't have to buy two <laughs> I got a pack for Fraser as well so that he can like sit and chill with me one night when the kids are in bed but they're basically like little under eye pods or pads and they are infused with oil and you put them in your hair. Mommy, I don't want to go to bed with that. No, you don't need to go to bed with it. It's me and daddy. Once you're in bed, mummy and daddy are going to put it on their eyes. So they're like little squishy kind of like jelly things are put underneath your eyes. They're infused with oil. You might be able to see it in the packet. It's kind of moving around. And you literally just pop them underneath your eyes and it's supposed to make your eyes look firmer, brighter and more rejuvenated. So we shall see how they are. I'll actually put a little update on my Instagram stories. So if you follow me over there, then you'll see what I think of them shortly. Next up, I went into Home Bargains and the first thing I was looking for was fake tan. Now I've already got a fake tan, but I wanted something that was just going to be like instant and maybe just wash off. But then I seen this and was pleasantly surprised. I'm wearing it now. It's the Caton's Made in England Bronze Ambition Mousse. Now this one is a instant tan, but it's instant to gradual. So basically you put it on, it works like an instant tan, but if you keep it on for longer than four hours, then it will actually stay like a tan like this I have just now. So it's really nice, it's lovely natural, and the scent of it is amazing. It says it's coconut, but I actually think it's more like a coconut and pineapple kind of scent because it's quite tropical. This was about two or three pounds. It was really, really cheap, but definitely worth getting if you like fake tan. And yeah, I never put it on my face. I just put it on my body. I don't tend to tan my face anyway, but I did pick this up and I also wanted to make sure the tan was being maintained. So I got this as well, which is the Creighton's Bronze Ambition Gradual Tan Fake Don't Bake Gradual Tanner Cream. So I thought if I use this, and then I go ahead and then kind of top the tan up with the gradual tanner. Maybe throughout the week it will just look nice and bronze and maintained. So yes, these two together, it's still the same brand, it's still the same like range, except one is the mousse and then one is the cream. 
This is my favourite fake tan in that I've got so many of these. I tend to only use it once or twice. This one has been used once and it still looks as good as new. So it is the Soul Kiss. Oh god, there goes, there goes the gloves. <laughs> it's the Soul Kiss Derma V10 self tan that is a three in one but I would actually just say it's a one because you're not going to really use this side at the back I don't think. What I tend to do is put both gloves on because it comes with a little set of gloves, put the tan and that on and then just use this kind of like soft velvety side and never use this side ever um, and then I put my tan on but it's so good it washes well as well if you're wanting to try and reuse it as many times as you can. But yeah, I absolutely love this tan mitt and it's only a pound so you can really afford to buy a few of them throughout the month. That is if you're an avid tanner like me. I used to use sunbeds all the time and I just never go to them anymore. Since I've had the kids, I've just kind of given up on that whole sunbed situation. So having a good tanning routine for me is definitely important. Another thing from Creighton's, this brand, is this charcoal deep cleansing scrub. I actually picked this up for Fraser more than me to be honest because I've got my own kind of like routine that I have but I'm interested to try it and see how it is if it will open. So let's see. You can normally tell things are really cheap when they've not got a lot of micro particles in them and they're more creamy but this one actually has quite a few and so far smells nice. It says it unblocks pores, exfoliates skin and removes impurities and this was only a pound for this one, the charcoal one. So hopefully that will be quite good. I'm excited to try that. So when we were on holiday we didn't have very good weather and one night we were going out and I just never had a tan and I really wanted to go and get a fake tan. But trying to get a good fake tan in holiday was so difficult because people just must not look for it when they're abroad. And actually I ended up finding one of these Dove Derma Spa like gradual tanners. I used it for a few days and then I wore the black dress and it was so nice but the actual moisturiser was such a nice after sun so I ended up when I was in home bargains I seen just the normal body lotion and I had to pick it up so it was less than two pounds it was like 179 and it's just the most lovely I'll show you in a second it's the most lovely texture it's like velvety and like really hydrating and once it's on it's not greasy it's just a lovely moisturizer so that one wee bit's like gone a long way obviously and it smells beautiful as well it's just really nice and for the money it's well worth it i also got this little body spray it's coconut and lime and i thought it would be nice to keep in my gym bag so it's just a body spritz it's not like an actual perfume and it's coconut and lime scent so it smells really tropical it's like a lovely kind of holiday smell and I just thought that would be really nice to wear for going to the gym and keeping in my gym bag so that when I'm getting all hot and bothered, I smell nice. So <laughs> this was less than £2. It was £1.79 or £1.29 for this. It was like really cheap and it smells really nice. It doesn't smell cheap. So yes, that was lovely and it had loads of different fragrances of this one. And last but not least, I got these little Aptimil milks for Charlie. They were £29 and they're normally a pound in Asda. So I thought I would pick up to it and see how he gets on with them. They are for age two to three years. It's like a stage four. But we gave Charlie one of these on the train when we were going to London. And he fell asleep after he had it. And I thought, well, that must be a winning formula. I'll get two. So there was a whole massive like box of them. But my hands were already full with the things that I had. And I didn't have a basket. So I only picked up two. But hopefully these work a good trick for him in the afternoons. And he goes for a nice sleep after he's had them. So guys, that is the end of my Poundland slash Home Bargains haul. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, then please make sure you stick around and hit subscribe. Tell me in the comments if you've tried any of these and what you think of them. And I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.